Hi, good evening all. Uh, I thank all our viewers who joined us uh, earlier today for the virtual workshop on the Facebook Live as well as the Instagram Live. Unfortunately, we had some technical issues uh, with regards to network, which is why uh, we couldn't completely uh, do it. So, which is why we are recording a session right now. And uh, the, the workshop, virtual workshop that we were discussing today was on how to make your iPhone and Mac great together, right? So, uh, as I was saying earlier, we have a lot of users and customers who have either got an iPhone and have a Windows machine or they have a MacBook or they are using an Android machine, right? And uh, these customers, we understand, are not able to get the full Apple experience because they don't have the corresponding Apple device, right? So as we, as the workshop heading itself is, you know, how to make your iPhone and Mac great, uh, what we'd like to tell you is that, you know, because Apple designs its own products, they make their own hardware, they design the software that runs in it, Plus they give us services, you know, such as iCloud Drive and, you know, Apple Music and uh, whatnot, which enables, you know, to get the best out of your Mac and uh, iPhone, right? So there's a lot of work that you can start off with your iPhone and complete it on your Mac. Similarly, vice versa, you can start it off on your Mac and continue it onto your iPhone, right? So we're going to show some features that are really, really wonderful. Let me start off with something called handoff, where you can start work in one of your devices and then continue it in another device, right? So for this first uh, trick that I want to show you, let me open my notes application on my iPhone. I have a note here ready. Let me uh, open up new, a new one. And I'm just going to start typing. Uh, make your iPhone and Mac. Now, uh, I want to continue typing this particular thing in my Mac, so I'm just actually going to hand it off now. So I'm just going to open my um, notes application here, and you can see that you know it just populated here. So there it is. Make your iPhone and Mac is what I type. Let me just get my iPhone again into this picture, right? So that you can get there. So I will continue typing here on this thing. Great is what I'll say. Learn more in today's virtual workshop with iPlanet's Apple Expert Apple Expert so you can see that automatically because it's on the same uh, Apple ID both these devices are connected on the same Apple ID you can see that whatever I've typed here is copied here so that's it it's something that's really really amazing so this is handoff right where you can start work in one device and go on and this works on your mail this works on your keynote right this works on pages this is a, this is a wonderful feature that is there uh, here right now additionally uh, we have something called universal clipboard which we can you know copy and paste somewhere right so let me just take this image of a keyboard here right this is the image of the 2019 macbook pro 16 inch keyboard right i have taken this picture for a particular reason let me use this one the clean picture yes so i'm just going to copy this command c is what i've done now i will open another note in my notes application and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paste it here you can see it's pasting from my macbook pro and there it is so this is universal clipboard where you can copy content right from diff from a different Apple device onto another Apple device. As long as you know the same, those two Apple devices are connected on the same Apple ID, right? So you can see that that, that node has come here also because it's again connected, right? So this is this is a wonderful feature that is there that enables you know customers or users to use their iPhone and Mac. So they can start off somewhere and complete it here, right? Uh, additionally, you know text messaging, right? For example, let me I have Abhishek here. So I will try to send him a message. Let me pull up his name, Abhishek. Yeah, there it is. And this, as you can see, is his iMessage ID. So I'm just going to send him, you know, I'll just say hi. And I have got some emojis of mine that I have taken down here somewhere. So I'm just going to send him that. Yeah, this is my. So, Memoji is another great feature of an Apple uh, ecosystem that you see here. So, this is something that I am going to promote. Um, 
unfortunately i cannot forward that i'm sorry about that so anyway let me see if i can you know send uh, 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 an emoji right here from so i'm going to send this right so let's see if abhishek has received that and he will you know send it back to me you know send probably an emoji right can get now notice this i'll try to open my and there it is see if you notice i sent him a hi and uh, a fist bump and he's replied back with a emoji right so text message forwarding you know you can receive sms you can receive uh, mms messages you can receive emojis you can see pretty much you know that my iphone uh, is connected to the same apple id so all my messages sms's are coming here so i can easily access them on my mac as well right so that's that's another great feature uh, additionally i'd like to talk to you about continuity camera right continuity camera is a great feature where you can import you know uh, images or documents or sketches from your uh, iphone or ipad whichever uh, ios device you connected on the same apple id uh the requirement here is that you need to have mac os mojave or above in your uh, mac you need to have ios 12 or above in your iphone or ipad uh you should be on the same apple id and the same wifi network and uh, one more thing important is that you should have enabled two factor authentication which is an extra level of protection that apple provides for uh, apple users right so as i was saying we got to show you about continuity camera right so if you if you could you know focus on my desktop and i'm just going to zoom here a little bit more for your benefit i'm just going to double tap and it says import from iphone or ipad so just to go a little back right so i'm just saying i'm going to take a photograph from my iphone now if abhishek could just focus on my phone you can see that my phone is in lock state right now and i'm just going to click right and automatically here you can see that my camera just opened right so this is continuity camera which is a great feature which uh, apple has enabled so here's what i'm going to do i'm just going to take a picture of this or rather let me take it like that this poster of this uh, uh gra the graphic that is there i will send it edit just the lighting taking a photograph and now if i just click use photo you will see that the picture is automatically transported onto my desktop there you go and here it is it's come up here and because it's selected i'm just going to press my space bar and quick action open it up right i'm not even opened it yet in preview we're just giving a quick uh this thing additionally now if you look here that photograph is not there in my albums right it's it's not even there right this is directly been imported here now i want to edit this right i have an option where i can use a sketch and if you see this particular icon here this is you know it's connected to my 8 plus so i can now sketch here so i want something i want to probably highlight you know probably i want somebody in my marketing department to change this so i will tell them you know i'll, I'll put this mark up here saying this is an old poster yeah so just just to give you a highlight of what is it i've sketched it out here so maybe this informs my marketing team and now i can just say done and you can see that you know it's automatically saved there so if i open the preview and it closed out here you can see that this is old poster right so i can just share this you know with the help of my uh, share you know i can just share it on a message and let me probably share it to abhishek itself because he he is the manager of the store and you know and i have shared it on i message let's see if abhishek has received it and i have abhishek's phone right here and there it is right so this has come here so you can you know send messages directly from your mac to another iphone right so that's also a great feature that is there uh, additionally if you are connected on the same apple id here right if you have registered your wifi password on your uh, iphone automatically you will get a prompt or it can get saved there in your mac as well so that's a great thing it's called instant watch spot right uh, let me talk about another feature which is called continuity sketch right so i just showed you continuity markup continuity camera and then continuity markup which is the let me show you continuity sketch which is a new feature 
also that is there in uh, Mac. So let me open up another new note, right? And uh, this is a new note that is there. So I'm just going to, if Abhishek could come in a little closer into the view and just let me just you know open up here. I'm going to say click file, insert from iPhone or iPad. I'll say add sketch. And now just keep an eye on this. My screen is locked. Automatically it's opened up into the new new note here. Right? So just let me just keep, place it here and bring back my now. Here is for the creative people who like to do some kind of change here. So I'm just going to make a sketch here. Uh, folks, please, you know, let, just let me tell you very honestly, this is just a sketch. Uh, don't look at it as a masterpiece. So I'm just going to scribble out here. All right, this is just a little bit of a artsy attempt from my side, just to show you how this works, right? Keep an eye on the background also. You can see my Mac as well. Still, it's showing, you know, I had a sketch from Sandesh's iPhone 8 Plus. Now let me change the color. I just got a little bit orange and I'll just do a panel here. Okay. This is some random art folks. Nothing, it's not uh, MF Hussein worthy. I'm just scribbling something here, just for your benefit. Right, and then now let me change the pencil. I'm gonna change the color. I'm just going to do you know, just, just this random art, right? This is nothing creative about it, right? And let me change the color finally to a blue. And this, you know, just a little light blue shade for the background. You can see that, you know, that's how it's coming up there. So this is my MF Hussein like masterpiece that I'd like to show you, share with you. Now you can see this button on the top here that says done. I'm just going to click done and there it is. Automatically you can see that the art has populated here. Then this is continuity sketch, you know, where you can create a sketch on your iPhone, iPad, right? And it will just import it directly to the Mac, right? So this is another wonderful feature that is there. Additionally, we have uh, a files application which is something that's there on your iphone this files application enables if you have connected your mac and your iphone on the same icloud drive right which is an apple's feature service where you can get uh, extra storage right you can you can access your documents on your mac directly from your phone right and uh, you know you have all your folders that i have here in my phone is available right here on my mac so i'm just going to go to finder just to show it to you Click on iCloud Drive and if you click Documents. Let me just go on the top. See, you have the MC website, Apple, Apple Consult Retail, Apple Product Knowledge, Marshall Kind. This is just to give you an idea, folks. Of course, I, I wouldn't go inside because I have some proprietary information there. But just to give you an idea as to how it works, right? So you can access your Mac from your iPhone with the help of Files application. So this is another great feature that is there. Uh, additionally, I'd like to show you one more feature which is where you can record the screen of your iPhone on your Mac, right? Or if you wish to present something from your iPhone which cannot be mirrored onto a bigger device because you don't have uh, AirPlay or any uh, Chromecast kind of device, but you have an HDMI cable which is connected to your Mac and it's connected to a presenter, right? So all you need to do is just take your uh, Lightning cable charger and the USB connected to the Mac uh, USB port. Or if you have a Mac which has a USB-C 3, that's a Thunderbolt 3 port, you can connect to that as well. So I'm just going to connect it to this iPhone. Let's wait for it to completely pair. Yes, it starts charging. Now, because I regularly use this, it doesn't actually appear. But when you're doing it for the first time, you will have a small window that appears saying, do you trust this device or not? Please give trust. And once you do that, let me just open my quick time player. So if Abhishek could just come in a little closer. I'll just uh, place this down so that it is. So I'm just going to open up my spotlight and search for a quick time player application. I've just opened it. Now, this is another thing. I'll just cancel this here. As you all know, you know, the top menu turns very dynamic as soon as you open a new application. Let me just go here. 
So I'm just going to click file and I'm going to click new movie recording. Right. So you can see uh, a quick time player is open. This is a way to record a movie. Right. Now, if I just click on this small arrow, you can see there's three options that are available here. One is your Apple TV. So I am also because on the same network, I have an Apple TV connected here. That's why it's showing up. I have my FaceTime HD camera and which is from the Mac itself and I'm connected to my iPhone 8 plus, right? So I will tune the microphone to my iPhone 8 plus or rather I'll keep it for internal microphone because I would like to you know, record a screen as well. Quality is kept at maximum, right? And you see it just changed over. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock my device and there it is. You know, my iPhone screen is mirroring there, right? So I can record it. I can start recording and it will automatically take the audio as well. So I can, you know, just show probably if you are showing an app or something like that, you know, I can probably for your reference open up InShorts, which is a news app, right? Where you can get uh, curated content, right? So you can watch it here very, very easily. Right? Or if you want to see YouTube, right? You have a big screen phone, but you like to see it on a big screen uh, monitor. Or if you're playing a game, right? Let me just close that. I will just put up YouTube here. I have a YouTube channel. Find an appropriate video, probably. Yeah, there it is. Abhishek likes food, so do I. So we are going to show you a uh, one over that, sorry. So I changed over, that's why this so this is a recording is there. I'm just gonna close that. I'm gonna say virtual recording. Save it, it's gonna save in the downloads. There it is. I'll just start over again. To my iPhone camera, yeah, there it is. And there you go. Is, but there is nothing like sitting in a restaurant and savoring some So you're seeing a video which is being played from the YouTube, but since it's connected to the Mac directly, you can play it here on a bigger screen. And obviously, in the, restaurant, the audio is connected there. So this is a wonderful feature that is there, which uh, is not available on other other products, right? Uh, something that is really really amazing. So let me close that app and. That's all. So how you get this is simple. You just connect your cable to your iPhone, and then you open QuickTime Player and uh, choose the option to connect to your. Uh, so these are some features that I I like to show you all, right? Uh, and uh, talk about in terms of you know how wonderful the Apple ecosystem is, where you know your iPhone works really really amazing with your Mac, right? Uh, another feature that I like to share is probably AirDrop, right? So. Let me find a video that I have in my phone. I will find a video and uh, finally torn back the curtain on the idea that so many of the folks in charge. So this is a video that's there on my phone that I received from one of my friends on WhatsApp. I want to watch this on a bigger uh, platform. So I'm going to share this, right? So you can see here this small little icon here on the bottom left, that's a share icon, right? Which enables you to share this with in, on any platform. So if you have any other apps, these are the apps where you can share it, right? Your uh, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, mail, and even messages as well, right? But I want to use share, uh, show you a feature called AirDrop where you can share files wirelessly between your iPhone and Mac or Mac and iPhone vice versa. So I'm just going to click airdrop, right? And uh, you can see it shows my MacBook Pro. So this, this, this video is in my iCloud drive. It's not sitting in my phone per se. So 
so it's downloading give it a second or rather a few seconds and once it downloads it's going to airdrop that video directly to my mac and i'll be able to watch it in a bigger better screen just a few seconds more folks there it is you can see it's transporting and there it is it's received right and you can find it right here in the downloads i'm just going to play it off directly it's there let me close this and this is a a wonderful way to you know connect your iphone and mac and uh, do a lot of work that you would love to do right so this is a great feature that uh, or these are some great features that i wanted to share with you today in the virtual workshop i i am i'm happy that a lot of you joined in right uh, and this video is to share uh, we will be uploaded on our social media and you'll be able to watch it for further uh, you know any inputs uh please remember to you know share your comments and your feedback if you have any further questions about apple products please put it in there in the comments so that we can make more videos like this we also have a youtube channel where we are sharing interesting tips and uh, tricks there right if you also wish to purchase online we have a portal for that go www.iplanstore.in and purchase your favorite apple products so uh, this is me sandeep signing off thanks to abhishek for helping me in recording this video and uh, stay safe guys thank you